Inversions are phenomenal at reversing the flow of blood in the body to counter gravity's pull of blood and lymph which may pool downward in the body. Also, Vipariti Karani, the inverted action pose, is wonderful at relieving tired legs, swollen feet after a long flight or a long drive. And because of its inverted nature, there's some considerations you want to have, mainly three. Even though Vipariti Karani is very accessible, you still want to have three things in mind. The first is you want to strengthen the respiratory diaphragm. Because when you're upside down, all the organs are pushing on the downside, the underside of the respiratory diaphragm. So when you're breathing diaphragmatically upside down, you still maintain your integrity. Okay? Also, because Viparita Karani is putting weight on the shoulders, we want to make sure that the shoulders are open. So we'll open through the chest. And the third thing, we'll do a gentle inversion in preparation for an inversion. Okay, how does that sound? So let's start. A way to strengthen the respiratory diaphragm is through an abdominal squeeze. So Agnisara, as you may know it also, place your hands on your thighs just above your knees. Release your shoulders down. Now, as you exhale, you're going to squeeze your belly upward. Inhale and release. Exhale, draw your abdomen in. Inhale to release. One more. Exhale. And inhale. Super. Then come up. Now, to open your shoulders, interlace your fingers. Now draw your shoulder blades back so you stand tall in a mountain pose with the hands resting on your back, shoulders open, shoulder blades together. So you're building integrity in the muscles between the shoulder blades and an, a gentle stretch across the shoulders and the chest. While you're doing that, please breathe deeply here in the upper abdomen. Super. Now the third one, come on the floor on your back. Let's do a bridge pose. Release your body down, rest your arms by your sides, kind of walk your shoulders underneath you. This will also be a great setup for Viparita Karani. Now press through your feet and lift your hips up. Walk your shoulders underneath you slightly more, and then exhale and release down. Now, make any adjustments you need to make through your shoulders, through your head, through your feet, and then rise up again. Beautiful. Hold the pose. Make sure your neck is, is neutral. Great. And then come all the way down. Now, the setup for Viparita Karani is just this pose. Walk the shoulders underneath you like you're about to come into bridge pose. Except, now pick up your feet, take hold of behind your knees, and start to rock, kind of pump your legs. You're going to rock up and down in your spinal column. Please don't rock too much that you put pressure on your neck, or too much weight on your head. But just come a little bit rocking up and down like a rocking chair. Now the next time you rock, with your legs over your body, release your hands and catch hold of your hips, your low back. Bend your knees and now walk your shoulders underneath you a little bit more. Now the weight of your pelvis is on your hands. Your elbows press down for stability. You're breathing deeply. Remember the reason we did Agni Sara, to strengthen the respiratory diaphragm. So focus on breathing. Relax your face. Please make sure your neck is neutral too. You could keep your knees bent or you could extend your legs overhead. Breathe in and breathe out. Fantastic. Now to come out, if you straighten your legs, go ahead, bend your knees. Slide your hands out to the outer hips and slowly lower your back down. Release your feet down. Release your head back. Now, just rest for a moment. Try to sense what the difference is internally. How do you feel? 
How does your heart area feel? How does your head feel? And then just start to windshield wiper your legs. And as you windshield wipe your legs, let your head also go in any particular direction that feels right for you, that feels like a release for you. Beautiful. Stretch your left leg out, hug your right knee, exhale, curl knee to your forehead. Switch legs. Exhale, curl. And release. Okay, well, that was Vipariti Karani. Detailed instructions, guidelines. So with those guidelines, hopefully you'll practice with confidence and enjoy turning your perspective upside down. Namaste.